what those little lights are up ahead. Shellington? It could be a group of tiny firefly squid, Captain. They glow in the dark. Let's dim the lights so we can get a better look at them. Already on it, Captain. I still can't tell what they are for certain. They don't seem to be moving. Then let's get a little closer. Closer. Ah! Jumping jellyfish! Dashy, put us in reverse and pull away. I'm trying, Captain, but something's got us. Oh! Switch to steering wheel mode now. Must break free. Oh, oh dear. Ow! What? Shiver me whiskers. Lappity flippers. It's no good, we're held tight. Dashy, lights, let's see what's got us. Aye, aye, Captain. <gasps> it's an enormous eye. Those itty-bitty lights around my eye fooled you, didn't they? You didn't know they belonged to big old me. We mean you no harm. Please, let go of us at once. No. Uh, I grab it, I keep it, you weird-looking squid. Daddy, stand the up to alert. Whoa. Octonauts, to the HQ. <laughs> Shellington, any idea what's grabbed us? Yes, it's a colossal uh, squid. It's like my cousin, the giant squid, only oh, bigger. It's uh, the biggest squid in the ocean. I wish it would stop shaking us. No more shaking. Phew, that was easy. Time for squeezing. Ah, he'll crush the octopod. Not if we match him tentacle for tentacle. Tweet. I've got just the thing, Cap. We're in this tentacle suit. Professor Inkling will be able to move the arms of the octopod as if they were his own. Whoa! I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. Excellent. Activate tentacle suit. <laughs> Twist to the side. <laughs> Now down. That's it. Aha! You're swashbuckling like a proper pirate, Professor. Ugh, oh my! I need to break free before he gets his hooks in us. Hooks? What hooks? The colossal squid has hooks on the ends of his tentacles. Yeah, which makes it quite a challenge to get away from him. Almost there. Just a few more twists and turns, and we'll be in. Ah! <gasps> Ink Cloud, a classic move from the Squid Playbook. Oh no, I can't see where his tentacles are. That's right, eat my ink. <laughs> I'm taking you down, way down. <laughs> Captain, I'm afraid he's hooked us. Understood. Quasi, to the launch bay. Here's the plan. We'll swim outside and use our own paws... ...to pry those hooks off the ship. <laughs> ah, these hooks are no match for a swashbuckling pirate. For every hook we loosen, two more move into place. This will take all my polar bear strength. Got it! Captain, incoming tentacle! Thanks, Quasi. Anytime. Better keep moving. Captain, there's something heading straight for us. It's a pod of sperm whales, and sperm whales love to eat colossal squid. 
Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. If the sperm whales try to eat the colossal squid... Then they might take a bite out of the octopod, too. Oh, it's every squid for himself. I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Stop holding on to me. Let go. You're the one who's hooked up to us. You're right. I'm stuck. I'll never get away from the sperm whales if I can't move fast enough. Captain, the sperm whales are getting closer. Oh, we're doomed! Don't worry, we'll keep you and the octopod safe from the sperm whales. Octonauts, prepare all gups for launch. There you are, our colossal dinner. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, hey! This is fun. Everyone, pull up! Up, 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 up. Now, back down! Oh, down! They're still chasing us. Yes, Peso, but sperm whales breathe air. So sooner or later, they'll have to swim back up to the surface to breathe. <sighs> Can't keep going. Must go up for air. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, thank you. You guys saved me. Um, I'm sorry about almost crushing your ship and stuff. No harm done. Well, not much anyway. And now, let's help you unhook yourself from the octopod. No, no. You just take it easy. Really, I can do it. Watch out, matey. Your hooks are digging in deeper. Just a little tentacle trouble, that's all. Are you sure you don't need some help? Hold your seahorses. I can do it. I'll just brace myself. And give it a good swall. Yes! No! Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh no! Tunip and the Vegemals are in there. Ah, they're sinking fast. We've no time to lose. Everybody, dive! <laughs> Dark. I can't see the pod. I see it. I see it. You're pulling me poor. It's too dark down here to see anything. I have the biggest eyes in the ocean. And I can see just fine without light. Then let's use your squid vision. Where are they now? I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh-oh. Down. Go down. Everyone, dive. Why? The other way! Bring the cups around! Hurry! They're heading for some sharp rocks! You've got one free tentacle. Reach out with it now and grab them if you can. All right. I think I've got it. Oh, I've got it! Octonauts, pull up! Well done. Sometimes a spare tentacle really comes in handy. I'm great at grabbing, but I have a hard time letting go. I guess I could use some help after all. Operation Untangle Tentacles begins now. your tentacles are back where they belong, it's time to return one of ours. Tweak? Okay, big guy. Bring up the pod. That's it. Up a little more. Down a little. A little more. Now to your left. <laughs> uh, to your other left. Got it! Super, super! Good work, everyone. I think this calls for a tentacle bump. Yeah! Easy now. Watch the hooks, matey. <laughs> As the little fishy swam closer to the shipwreck, 
he heard a strange, whispery voice. <gasps> then an eerie white something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. It's slimy fingers stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. It said... I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. Hello! <laughs> the vampire squid! Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. Octonauts, our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? Uh, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're going to need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. A shipwreck. And strange whisper. Noises too, just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Come in, Peso. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. thing as sea ghosts. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody in here? Quasi? Is that you? <laughs> oh, phew! You're not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah. there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. Flappity <laughs> flippers! Hey, sir! Oh, you don't want to go in there, boy. I'm coming for you, matey! I found Peso's bag, but Peso's nowhere to be seen. Well, according to the radar, he should be nearby. Yeah! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. 
Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. <laughs> I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer? Quasi, it's standing right next to you. I don't see anything. Behind! In front! Just in turn! Captain! Captain, I, I can't hear you! Come in, Quasi! Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you hear someone. What? Who's there? Show yourself. Wow! Got you this time. Yeah, <laughs> a sea ghost. Did you have to do that? Well, sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You... you didn't? It's just... I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too. But sea ghosts are only make-believe. Aren't they? The sea ghost? <laughs> Barnacles. I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost. Sea ghost? It's got a strange whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with them. Captain, it snuck up behind me and listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out, fast. This way, hurry. The sea ghost strikes again. I've got you. I've got you. It's got me. This way. Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um... Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long-armed squid. A long-armed squid? I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes. I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Well, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle? If it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts? Let's untangle this tentacle. Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. Oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, my friends. Did you find it? Wait. You forgot your medical bag. Ah, ghost. Oh, vampire. Ah, squid. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still, Puffy. Yow!
Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike, but it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Yeah! <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, the bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> oh, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. Bye. There he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just um. Uh... Whale shark! Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours! Yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the octo alert! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check! Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. Ha And we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Yeah. Yeah. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this... fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Kevin! Whoa! <laughs> Follow that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You've got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery time and grab! <laughs> this is fun. Now what? Now it's story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. 
It's time for plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cool. Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah. You can do it, Peso. <sighs> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! Yow! Puffy! I saw! He's going through the sponge wall! That must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. <laughs> the whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> I can't quite reach his tail. <laughs> you can if you hold on to me. to watch out for really big fish. Or keep an eye and an eye out for them. Ooh. <laughs> 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 
Professor Inkling, we've just received a call from Captain Barnacles. I'll be right there. Uh, could you stay here and take the fish biscuits out of the oven? <laughs> Professor, we've found some underwater caves to explore. Oh, excellent. Wow! Captain, are you okay? Yes, Peso, but something seems... Oh! Octonauts, stand by. We're under attack. Barnacles out. Mm. Ah, I can't see what's got us, Captain. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on, Quasi. We're getting out of here. Whiskers! Whatever it was, it's gone. Octonauts, we're okay. Phew. Prepare to open the octo hatch. Barnacles out. Are you all right? Aye, matey! Cap, the gub's covered in slimy ink. And what are these marks? <gasps> mm. Must be where the monster grabbed us. The monster? We don't know that it was a monster. Hmm. Captain, I've seen marks like this before. Unless I'm very much mistaken, they were made by... My cousin. Your cousin? Yes, my cousin, Irving, the giant squid. Dashie, let's show them my family photos. I've been helping Professor Inkling put his family photos on the computer. That's me and one of my relatives, the blue-ringed octopus. My little cousins, the firefly squid, and that is my distant cousin, the giant squid. That's your cousin? It's the only photo of him I've got, and it's not even a good one. I haven't seen him in a long time. He's enormous. The octopus and the squid are in the same family. I'm small, and he's big, but we're alike in many ways. We both have arms with suckers. Excellent for holding on to things. Aye. That explains how your cousin grabbed the gup, eh? But why would he do it? Well, Cousin Irving may have been trying to ask for help. That's a funny way to ask. I don't think he meant to hurt you. Well, in fact, I think you scared him. Really? Both my cousin and I squirt ink when something scares us, you see. The ink allows us to run away and hide without being seen. Captain, we need to find him and make sure he's all right. Professor, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find Inkling's cousin, the giant squid. Quasi, peso, into the gub. Captain, I don't usually go out on missions, but Irving is family. If he needs help, then I should be there. Let's do this. Oh, the fish biscuits. How nice to have them for the trip. Thank you, Vegemals. Mm. Oh. Yes, yes. Oh. One more won't hurt. <laughs> Whoa, Vegemals. I think that's all the biscuits we have room for. Prepare for launch. Yeah! Open the octo hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Hold on, everyone. This could get bumpy. 
Professor, your cousin may be inside one of these caves. Hi, this is the place where he reached out and grabbed us. It looks dark in there. Won't your cousin Irving be scared? Don't worry, Peso. A giant squid has the biggest eyes of any creature in the ocean. It's easy for him to see in the dark. So, we'll go slowly and try to see him before he sees us. Remember, Quasi, we don't want to scare him away. Quasi! Peso, you search that cave and I'll take the other. Aye, Captain. I'll keep a lookout here. We'll call you on the radio if we find your cousin. It's just a little dark down here. Nothing to be afraid of. There's something huge up ahead. Oh, sorry. It's just some big rocks. I think I found him. Ooh. Come on, show yourself. Ow! Ah, it was just a manta ray. Oh. Octonaut, I may have found the giant squid. Oh. Activating creature detector. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, it was just an eel. Octonaut, continue the search. Oh. Ah, these fish biscuits smell wonderful. Perhaps a little snack will cheer me up while I wait. Oh, it's Cousin Irving! Inkling! Hmm. Something smells good. Would you like some fish biscuits? Coming right up! Mm. Mm. Oh! Huh? Mm. Whoa! Huh? Cousin Inkling? Cousin Irving. Are you all right? I've been so worried about you. Oh, I'm just hungry. I've been looking for food all day. Ah, so that's why you grabbed the gup, eh? You thought it might be food. Um, do you have any more of those delicious fish biscuits? Captain, another basket of those excellent biscuits, please. Cousin Irving is very hungry. So, how did you find each other? Oh, I smelled those fish biscuits. A giant squid has an excellent sense of smell. Here, have another basketful. Rather. And this is the octopod, my home away from home. Well, my cousin the octonaut. Let's get a new picture for your family album, Professor. Moving closer, please. Perfect. We're ready when you are, Captain. Activating tentacle reach. <laughs> Give me a smile. Say seaweed. Seaweed. <laughs> Just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Looks like our kind of place, Captain. And best of all, 
this whole area is still unexplored. It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's going to be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning. Morning? A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yeah! -ha! No match for Quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp <gasps> spiders? <laughs> Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. Fire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of them. Oh, that's strange. Wait, who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <clears throat> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs, just like a... Sp Spider! Meow! <laughs> You're not going to believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was It was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge! <sighs> what was it? A vast! It was a giant spider! And it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the good bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know, you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Yeah! Yeah! This is the spider! Hello out there. 
We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our gum? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz with your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, no! Ouch. It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! We did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it! Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> These pictures coming in from Dashie. Ooh, where is she, Captain? 
She's exploring a strange underwater cave. There's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, it looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red and wiggly. Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because their teeth and the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave peso. It's a, a whale, whale shark. shark. Dashi! Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out, now. Uh-oh, closing time. My camera. Dashi, can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm... The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. <laughs> we need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonaut, this is a whale shark. No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea. As big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashi thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate! I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashi. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gut. Week, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here, but I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. 
Looks like it kept Dashie's hair clipping. But Dashie must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Wow! <laughs> yeah! Hey guys, it's great to see you. Um, Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. This might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -hmm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochie, goochie, go! On your marks. A goochie, 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 go! Get set! Goochie, go! Go! Hey, so! I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us! And cured the whale shark's tummy ache. Ah, cute little beast. Ooh, not so little. I can't decide which of these photos I took to send into National Geographic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. Ha 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 ha!